the biggest games, the greatest players, and the largest payouts on the planet. The WPT is a series of international high-stakes poker tournaments that can turn amateur players into millionaires and make professionals into superstars. With millions of dollars on the line, it's time for these six players to live the dream of fame, fortune, and the one thing money can't buy, a WPT title. Tonight on the World Poker Tour. Hi, everyone. Tonight, we're on the banks of the Ohio River at the Hollywood Casino in Lawrenceburg, Indiana, for the inaugural Hollywood Poker Open. I'm Mike Sexton, alongside Vince Van Patten, and this is the WPT. And, Mike, the Hollywood Casino is an absolutely spectacular new stop on the WPT. It exudes all the style and glamour of Hollywood and is becoming one of the hottest poker destinations in the Midwest. Well, Vince, players from around the country stepped into the spotlight and put up 10000 in cold, hard cash to enter. We are now down to our final six players, all of whom are fighting for big money as well as that distinction to call themselves the inaugural champion of the Hollywood Poker Open. And all six of these players are hoping the spotlight shines down on them. We've got three online pros making their first appearance under the bright lights of a WPT final table. Also, a family man out of Chicago and in his third time at a WPT final table, Chris Bell. And this poker pro out of North Carolina is hoping that three times is a charm to take home his first WPT title. But they're all going to have to get by the chip leader, two-time WPT champ, Carlos Mortensen, a.k.a. the Matador. He's one of the greatest players in the game, and Carlos has a shot at making history here tonight with a second-place finisher higher. He will overtake Daniel Negreanu as the all-time money winner out here on the WPT. And if he can get the W, he will tie the great Dane Gus Hansen with three WPT titles. That's a record Gus has held since season two of the WPT. That's right, but if anyone can do it, the Matador is the man. The cash, the title, and that coveted WPT Tiffany bracelet are all up for grabs tonight. Okay, what are we waiting for? Let's watch the bluffing begin. <laughs> okay, here we go. The final table of the inaugural Hollywood Poker Open about to get underway. We started four days ago with 144 players. We are now down to six. The winner tonight is going to take home nearly 400000 That's right. And as you can see, Carlos Mortensen, the chip leader, and he's going to start at 2000 Blinds 10 and 20. Cards have been dealt. Actually going to the Matador. Carlos Mortensen looks down at a 10-6, says, I've got nada de particular, and he's going to fold. Action over to Ravi Ragaman. Well, there you see a couple of his college buddies. He went to the University of Illinois with these two guys. That's Faraz Jaka and Andy Seth. Both have made WPT final tables this season. Yeah, Ravi, only 23 years old out of Chicago, has got a king 10. He's going to make it 45,000 to go. Fold by Chris Bell and Frank Callow. Yeah, action over to the family man, Mike Mustafa. He's a poker pro out of Chicago, Illinois. There's an ace jack offsuit, but he's coming right over the top for 125,000. Into the short stack, Jerry Payne. Poker pro out of Dayton, he folds his hand. So it goes back to Ravi. Ravi's got a King-10 offsuit, so not the kind of hand you want to play against a re-raise, that's for sure. Ravi lays it down, but a nice over-the-top bet by Mike Mustafa there. The father of four girls taking down that pot. Be impressive. Big hand, Ravi. You might see it, I don't know. Yeah, I'll see the bluff. And it wasn't a bluff, Ravi. Ravi says he's taken home over two million online in poker. That's impressive. It sure is when you're 23 years old. Right back down to the felt. Chris Bell making his third appearance at a final table here on the World Poker Tour. Yeah, Chris, a tough pro out of Raleigh, North Carolina. And he goes out. Frank Callow also out. Yeah, Mike looks down at A7 off, so going to fold this one. And now Jerry Payne from Dayton, Ohio, my hometown. On. Whoa, the short stack is going all in with his ace three, Mike. Well, he's got the short stack, so he's making a move. Carlos with the King Eight of Club in the small blind folding. And Robbie will not play, so right there. And the short stack, Jerry Payne taking down that pot. We have a lot of fun stuff. <laughs> Only about four people, but I'm from like an hour up the road, so probably a lot of people here. I can say I want at least one hand. <laughs> the action at the Hollywood Poker Open is just getting started. Lots of drama at Hollywood. Don't go away. Having a World Poker Tour in the Midwest is great because I live in Dayton, it's only an hour away, so it's a really easy drive down here. It's one advantage I have over the other five players left at the table. They all have to sleep in a hotel room. I get to sleep in my own bed every night. We might 
third of the PT title. Well, Barry Greenstein is eliminated. He's not going to win his third WPT title tonight. And Eric Langren, two-time winner on the World Poker Tour, is going to have to wait a while to get that third WPT title. Daniel Negrano is not going to win his third WPT title here tonight. Freddie Deeb in dire straits. He's going to capture that third World Poker Tour title tonight. He's not going to do it. Good luck. To win this would be awesome. Welcome back to the World Poker Tour. A lot of great poker moments right there. Well, you're right, Vance. That's the cream of the crop to try to get three WPT titles. Those guys you just saw failed. We'll see if Carlos Mortensen can tie Gus Hansen with three titles by winning tonight. Well, he's the chip leader. Six players remain. We're going back down to the felt. A quick fold by Mike Mustafa. Jerry Payne also folding. Now it's around to Carlos. He's going out as well. Robbie Raghavan, the student out of Chicago, Illinois. And he's got two deuces on the button and folds them. A little surprised at that. Let's see what Chris Bell does. Come on up. He's going to go all in with an ace five here. And Frank Callow is going to fold. So the all in bet by Chris working well there. Thank you. Incidentally, Chris, regardless where he finishes tonight, will become the 120th WPT Poker Made Millionaire. So. Pretty impressive. Uh, he's got a great attitude. He's a great player. He has just missed being a superstar in the game, perhaps, but maybe he can turn that around tonight. All right, back to the table, and look at this young Jerry Payne picking up kings. Jerry's on the short stack right now. All in. But picks up two kings and goes all in with them. Yeah. That's an overbet, in my view. Blinds are only 10 and 20,000. Why would you bet over 300,000 here to chase everybody out? Well, he is pushing them away. Everyone folding in a line. Only one to defeat right now would be Mike Mustafa, but he's got a pretty good ace nine. And I'll tell you, I don't blame him for hesitating here because when a guy goes all in like that. Yeah, about 300 now. Generally, you put him on a small pair or like an ace and a baby card. Very rare do people bet that much money with two kings right up front. You want action. You want to encourage action. You don't want to discourage it. But Mike does go out. You might have had your ace 10. You had what? Ace 10. Terrible fool. And now we're going to talk to professional poker Excellent. player Brian hey, Devonshire. Yeah, there's absolutely a difference between the live and online players. Uh, the, the whole approach that they take to the game is completely different. The, the online players are taking it from a scientific standpoint. The live players are taking it from a psychological standpoint. The online players, they're technicians of the game. They're very skilled at the fundamental play and the mathematics of the game, but they're not skilled at the at the psychology and the live tells and the this and that and Carlos is a master of live players and live tells and reading hands in specific situations like it doesn't matter like the overall probability of a given situation it matters like what the hell is going on in that situation right now and Carlos played a hand on the way to this final table where he picked a guy's bluff off with a pair of jacks on an ace queen xxx board and you know and there was something that he did there that I don't know what he did, but he did it, and he did it well. Well, I think Brian makes some good points there that the great online players are mathematical whizzes, whereas the great live game players are better at reading people and opponents. Well, don't tell that to the great players like Jonathan Little, Faraz Jaka, also known as the toilet, <laughs> or hippie Prahlad Friedman, all great online players, but also have great people instincts as well. But we will get back down to the game here. Well, here, Mike Mustafa picks up an ace-queen. 50. He's going to raise it. Comes in for 50,000. Into Adam Sandler. I mean, Jerry Payne, who has a 4 5 off suit. And he mucks that. Well, Carlos in the small blind now looks down at a Queen Jack. Carlos is what's known as a defender. He doesn't like to give up his blinds easily. 150. And he's coming right over the top. Forget about Colin. He is re raising here. And he's dominated, as you can see. So. Could spell trouble. Yep, Robbie going away. Back on Mustafa. Oh. Well, Mustafa just makes the call. Doesn't come back over the top. So let's see the flop. Now flop comes King 8-6. No help to either player. Now Carlos is going to make the continuation bet. And by doing so, he's going to cause great problems for Mike Mustafa here. It's 140,000. He sticks out there, and now Mustafa, hitting none of that flop, has a decision to make. You just wonder if he didn't re-raise before the flop because it's the chip leader or because it's Carlos Mortensen. But either way, he's going to have a problem continuing with this hand. 
as the King H6 flop comes out there. Here's Carlos's girlfriend, Pastora, because he lost the lead in this hand and allowed Carlos to take it. Carlos is going to win the pot show by making three, the Carlos. continuation one three. Oh, yeah, oh, that's one how three, it's Carlos. done. Muy bien, one Carlos. Three. Oh, boy. One, two. I saw you. You had a three. How'd you put it back? No way. Well, the Matador could have got gored. Nice hand with you, boy. Instead, Bluff me, huh? he waves it cape beautifully. Six players remain at the Hollywood Poker Open. We're coming back with more action in just a moment here on the World Poker Tour. One of the best players in the world today, Chris Bell. I remember the first couple of times I got here, like I really wanted to win a title. Well, the bell has finally been cracked. This wasn't meant to be for him to capture his first WPT title tonight. At this point in my life, I kind of keep count with money. If they paid more for second, I'd try to get second. But if they paid more for first, I'm going to try to get first. From St. Paul, North Carolina, Chris Bell. Welcome back to the World Poker Tour. And Mike, is it just me, or is Chris Bell's hillbilly accent getting stronger and stronger <laughs> the more he's away from us? Ah, well, I love that line. If they paid more for second place, I'd try to get second. In truth, Vince, it really is all about the money out here. <laughs> all right, welcome back. Carlos Mortensen, our chip leader. Down to the felt we go. Frank Callow out of Liverpool, New York, folding. Mike Mustafa also out. Round to Jerry Payne. He looks at the 10 fighter clubs. He's going to fold. Yep. And here's the Matador. Now our chip leader looks down at Ace Jack on the button. 45. And he's going to raise it to 45,000. Into Ravi, the young 23 year old online player, quickly mucks. Well, he folds an Ace Do suit, Vince. But Chris Bell's going to stick around. And he's got those suited connectors you like to see flops with. And here comes a flop. Queen 9 3. Chris out in front now with the 2 9. He got a piece of it, and he's going to check. And look at this, Carlos checks right behind him, just has an uncanny sense of feeling when he's beat, and that's exactly the case right here. Yeah, he is beat, and now Chris finally having to bet. And he's betting 35,000, a very small bet, into a pot that's got 112,000 in it, but just letting Carlos know I've got a little something. Chris darting the eyes over to the Matador. I know you don't have 8-3. 8-3 would be good right now, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah, indeed it would. But I know you don't have that. Good assumption there. Yeah, these two guys are actually good friends off the table, but... All right. Yeah. Carlos is going to lay it down, and eight here's three, a case where Carlos didn't make a continuation bit. So did nine. So did nine. Or the eight. Nice one. Just felt like he might have got out flop there, and that was nice. the case. Now, what's amazing is Carlos said, the show me the nine. You know, if I ask someone checked. to show me a nine when they didn't have to show it, they never do it. How does he do that? <laughs> well, he's the only player in the world that's won the main event of the World Series of Poker and the main event on the World Poker Tour. So when you have that kind of status, you get respect. People <laughs> do what you ask them to. Oh, evidently. All right, back to the felt we go. Jerry Payne, a quick fold. And Carlos going to take a breather, goes out. Ravi also folding. Now back to Chris Bell. Picks up a nice hand here. Got two tens. He's going to raise it. Makes it 60,000 to go. Into Frank Callow. And the 22-year-old poker pro out of New York folds. They call him Frank the Tank, by the way. Now Mike Mustafa is going to make the call here out of the big blind with the King Jack. So here comes a flop. Ace, ace, six. Chris still out in front with the two tens. Action on Mike. He's going to check. Now, Chris, will he make the continuation bet? No, he checks there. Kind of surprising. When a king comes off, Mike has the lead now with aces and kings. Action is on him. And he is now going to bet 65,000. Well, to compound Chris's problems. Oh, boy. He not only didn't bet on the flop, he's now paying off the guy when his hand is beat. Okay, river card. Can Chris get lucky? No, it just gets worse. Now the board pairs king, so Mike has kings full, but leery that Chris might have been slow playing three aces on the flop, so he checks, and Chris Bell can only beat now something like two sevens or two eights, so he checks also, and he is not going to like the way he played this hand. I promise you that. You might say the bell cracked here a little, Vince. Chris Bell not taking that one. Mustafa taking the pot. Chris, you look like you got sick of that river. Well, he who hesitates 